Hey guys, this is Lynn. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. I am here in front of this beautiful bush, probably my most favorite bush uh, in the world. Uh, I just love the colors, so I decided to go ahead and record a little quick video out here um, in this beautiful sunshine. Um, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to talk about what's going on with my hair and topic of the week, so I'll see you in just a bit. This is, these are, I should say, crochet locks. Um, I had crochet locks around my birthday, which is about maybe four or five months ago. I really like them. They're so versatile and cute. So I decided to go ahead and try them out again. So there is no wig to review for this week. There is, um, like I said, these crochet locks. And I'll put the description down in the description box so that you can go and get uh, some of your own if you decide that you do like this particular style. Uh, this week, guys, what the hell am I talking about? I have no idea, but I want to talk a little bit about men. Men. You know what? I am just so sick of y'all. Like, I just don't, I don't have a, a good way to say it. I'm just fucking sick of y'all. Y'all just make me sick, okay? <sighs> Unfortunately, you guys come with all the penises, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem. I got to figure that out. Um... Other than that, I'll just say this. Um, I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all bullshit. I'm tired of y'all nonsense. I'm just tired. Tired. Motherfucking tired. Okay. I want to talk a little bit this week. Uh, this topic is from my good, good friend, Juanetta. And uh, she said, she sent me a text message and she was like, hey, girl, we, you should talk about men and how, you know, they encourage you to share things with them. But then when you share the, share the things with them, they kind of use it against you. So let's talk about that this week, guys. So a couple weeks back, Wynetta sent me a text message, and she essentially said in the message, she's like, why do men encourage you to talk to them, and then they take what it is that you told them and they use it against you? You know, so they, they, they act like they're being comforting, and, you know, being a shoulder for you to cry on or for you to lean on, and then at the end of the day, they're just basically gathering evidence that they can use it against you later on. And uh, I thought it was a very interesting topic, so I decided to go ahead and just speak on it this week briefly. So, uh, in my own experiences, <laughs> I've discovered that it is absolutely true. <laughs> Why do you guys do that? Why do you say, talk to me, tell me, come to me with all your issues, I'm here for you, let's talk, and then when it comes down to it, when later on down the line, you use whatever it is we talked about against us. Why, Why do you do that? Why? Um, if that's the case, I could have told one of my girlfriends, and that's what she said in the message, she's like, I could have told a bitch. And I mean that. I could I could have told one of my girlfriends if I if I would have known that she would come back and be judgmental and use what it is I told you in confidence against me. I don't know why men do that. Um, my guess is maybe you should, <sighs> women, maybe we should com confide in our girlfriends, the good 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 girlfriends that we've known for years that we can trust. Uh, that we can talk to about anything. We just continue to confide and share with them because a lot of times these men out here, they just they, they just gathering information. They gathering intel. Boo. They, they don't mean to use it to help you or to be that show that people cry on. They just you know use it for later. Okay. Um, I had a guy that I was talking to, which is interesting because I happen to be in his vicinity right now. Um, some of you guys will get that. Some of you won't. Um, and he has a bad way of, you know, well, not a bad way, but he tells me, talk to your girlfriends first. I'm trying to meet them. Like, he wants me to go talk to other people first before I come to him. And I, I guess it's fine. You know, that's just, you know, how a relationship is set up. I get it. But, I mean, I think as a woman, we all look for that mate that we can share things with, that we can confide in, that's going to give us the yin to our yang. And a lot of times, these, these men, they don't give a shit. Okay, they don't give a shit. So what I suggest you do, guys, ladies, is find you a good, good girlfriend or a good, good group of girlfriends that's gonna keep you on your toes, be non-judgmental, listen to you, tell you when you full of shit, okay? And talk to them. Cause talking to these men out here, you're not gonna get anywhere, okay? You're not gonna get it. Cause a lot of times they just don't get it. And I just, I get to the point where I'm just, I just get frustrated and tired and I just stop talking. Like, why am I talking to you? You're not gonna get it anyway. 
I might as well just go ahead and keep shit to myself. Okay. Um, guys, don't you just love my butt, my background? Like it is just so beautiful. The sun is shining. I'm so pleased with it. I hope, hope when I go to edit this video, it looks exactly like it looks as I'm looking at it on the screen. I just love it out here. It's so beautiful. Um, this is my favorite bush in the entire world. Uh, I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the sun. I don't know what it's about it, but this is one of my favorite spots. So, um, again, guys, I, I really feel like I'm off focus or off center this weekend. That's possible uh, because of a lot of things going on outside of YouTube. Um, I'm having to return to work <laughs> with no real plan, no real idea about what's going on. Um, I'm having to ship my children off to another state to avoid my daughter who has an underlying condition from getting COVID. So it's a lot. Um, and I think as a result, I'm kind of out of it, out, more out of it than I would normally be. Um, anyway, I, I'll cut this off right now, but I will just venture to say, ladies, if you find yourself, or if you find yourself in a position where you confide it in your man or you confide it in your male friend with hopes that he's going to be non-judgmental and you find out later that he is judgmental, maybe it's a good idea not to even talk to him to begin with. Or maybe go go run it by some good, good girlfriend first and then come back to him because not, not many men are going to understand it on a level that a woman will. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. I got to try to shoot another little quick video here shortly. So uh, i like to just say thank you for joining me for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. Like I like to always say, be better today than you were yesterday, be better tomorrow than you were today. I will talk to you and see you very, very soon for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. Toodaloo.